What's up guys, Lego here with Dyna Demos, and today I'm gonna be installing the Pelican 1430 cases that you see behind me right there on my 2016 Dyna Lowrider S utilizing the Elite Touring Innovations, it's a mouthful, uh, bracket system. So if that sounds interesting to you, please stay tuned. And if you guys happen to like the video, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Quick disclaimer before I start the video. So this isn't gonna be an exact how-to. The reason for that is if you go to Elite Touring Innovations YouTube, they already have a how-to, so I just didn't see the need to copy that exact video. But what I will explain in this video is why I chose the bags that I chose, the mounting system that I chose. I'll show you guys a before and after of my bike and my future plans with these bags. So to start this off, let me show you guys my bike. Let me see if I can get a good side shot. So no bags, sleek and sexy. That's how I like it. But I do have plans for these bags. Let me show you guys the other side. I'm working with limited room. That's the only bag I got and I can't even fit a six pack in it. So you guys see my dilemma of why I need some bags on my bike. Just kidding. But there she is. Just be jealous. So here it is guys, the Pelican 1430 case. Let me talk quickly about the price that you may find these. So I was lucky and there was a store that actually had these in stock in San Diego. And I was lucky enough to uh, pick them up for about $81 a piece, which looking online, I got a pretty good deal. So if you guys are also looking to buy these cases or different Pelican cases, let me know and I will uh, give you guys information of that store that I found these at because it was a pretty good deal, especially if you live in San Diego and you don't have to ship them, you're definitely gonna save a few bucks because a lot of the cost comes from shipping these. So the reason that I decided to go with Pelican cases or just put bags on my Dyna in general is because I really wanna get into motorcycle camping and not having bags on your Dyna there is no room for any luggage, so I definitely need to put some bags on if I plan to go motorcycle camping. So that was one of the main reasons that I decided to uh, buy some bags is because I freaking hate wearing a backpack when I'm riding. So I'm definitely going to use these bags along with the Biltwell Expo 80 that I picked up from Biltwell. But that's my main plan is to start mo motorcycle camping. So these bags are definitely gonna help out with that. So now some of the key features of why I chose the Pelican 1430s. For one, I really just like the look of these. Uh, I've seen them mounted on Dynas before. If you look at Elite Touring Innovations Instagram page, you can see plenty of pictures with Dynas mounted with these things and they look freaking sweet. So that was one of the reasons I chose these. Another reason is that it is top load versus some of the other Pelican case options out there. So I really like that versus the ones that open on the side just because nothing's going to fall out of this. Um, another reason is this thing's nearly indestructible. So uh, nobody's going to be able to rip this thing off your bike, uh, especially because it locks. If you tip your bike over, it's not going to break off. Um, this plastic or polymer, whatever they use, super tough. Like I said, these bags lock. Uh, nobody's gonna be able to take it off because for the mounting system that I'm using, they'd have to get inside of the bag uh, in order to take it off. And then last but not least, I don't think I mentioned it is waterproof. So if you ride in the rain a lot, don't worry, you shouldn't get any water in this. Let me go over what I've done so far because I was doing the installation procedures a little bit out of order. And the reason for that was because I didn't have a second person to help me set this up. So, so what I did was I held the bag up to the bike and I got one of the brackets, the rear bracket to where I wanted it. So if you look, 
it's already tightened down on the bike and I'll go over how it's uh, actually mounted in the hardware in a second. But the reason that I did that was I tightened it down so I didn't uh, need somebody to hold it so I could make sure that it was level, if you look right there, uh, so I could adjust the bag up and down without it falling down while trying to mark the backside uh, for the tape, if you see that right there, that line where the tape's marked, uh, because the reason is I'm gonna have to mark the holes, but uh, without the extra hands, it was just too difficult. So that's the reason that I installed it a little bit out of order, um, according to their video. But let me show you guys how it's mounted. So it's pretty level, I'm happy with that. Let me show you guys what's up. So uh, the order of the hardware is button head screw, lock washer, fender washer, uh, ceiling washer, or just rubber washer. And then on the back side, rubber washer, and then bracket, because it's threaded. So that's the order of the hardware. Uh, for the center one, it is the Allen key, um, lock washer. I used this fender washer. I don't know if I was really supposed to use it, because if you look at the back side, um, the protrusion of the threads isn't that far, so I think I'm gonna get a longer bolt for that. I don't know if I did this hardware correct. Um, so maybe don't follow me on that hardware, but this hardware is definitely correct. Uh, so now I need to drill the holes for the front side. Then I'm gonna use the markings on um, the tape that I took on the back. And then I'll mount this bag So I want to show you guys where I'm at now because I haven't been doing it on camera. So I already got that bag fully mounted. I'll go over that one in a second. But this one, if you're doing this by yourself, I found that this is the easiest way to do it. So if you look, it's pretty level, right? So you just set a level up top. Now what I did was I got one mount to where I wanted it and I installed it. So uh, I really wanted like a low profile look, so I tried to get the bag as low as possible, but I still needed to pay attention to making sure that it wasn't gonna contact the shock, which it won't. Uh, I had to flip my shocks. So I did all that, and like I said, I mounted this, I tightened it down, and when I tightened it down, what it allowed me to do was have uh, free hands to where I could adjust it and the front end wouldn't drop down. And I put one of the mounts right here. Uh, I installed it into the front receiver and then I outlined it where I'm gonna put it. Uh, it's the same process as they recommend in the video, just I didn't have two people, so I had to install that aft one. But if you only have one person, then this is definitely an option. So this is gonna work out. Last thing I need to do will be drill holes in the front one and then I'll be done. Now what I wanted to show you guys is this side because it's fully mounted and I figured something out. So this bolt right here, what I was talking about earlier, the fender washer, you're actually not supposed to put a fender washer on it. I got rid of that and it's just supposed to sit flush in there and yeah, this bag is secured on there. So one of the things I don't have that I wish I would have bought is their um, quick release bolt that they come with, but I think I might be able to make something at the hardware store. I just need to figure out the thread pitch and all that and then go to the hardware store and get like a little handle and then it's gonna make it quick detach, so. I'll probably do that in the future. Right now, um, it's not really quick detach because I need to carry a tool in order to get these off, but yeah, whatever. So I'm gonna finish up this one and then I'll show you guys the finished product. So here she is, all complete. Let's uh, take a look at this thing and wrap this video up. So I got both bags mounted on the side. Let's take a look inside. You guys can see what I'm working with. Thank you. 
Boom. So here's the mounting system. Um, so you got two bolts. They go to the bracket themselves, two on this side. And then this actually goes through the bracket to the receiver um, on the fender strut. So this thing's sturdy. I would shake it pretty hard right now, but I don't want my bike to fall off the uh, stand down there. So I'm not gonna do that, but just trust me, it is a sturdy system. Uh, I have no doubt I could, I could put uh, quite a bit of weight in these without a problem. Uh, like I said before, these things lock, sturdy, waterproof. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. I think I mentioned it earlier, but I just need to try to get the um, quick detach. I'm gonna see if I can make something myself instead of spending, I think maybe they sell them for like 50 or 60 bucks on Elite Touring Innovations, but I'll see if I can save some money and make something myself. Uh, I already checked both sides and they're pretty level. They look pretty even. If you guys check it out, I can still use my quick detach for the sissy bar. So that's pretty dope. One of the reasons I love this, I had to flip my shocks, no big deal. They're not gonna contact anything. One thing to watch out for when you're installing these is making sure that you still have a gap so you're not gonna contact your shock. Uh, and I think that pretty much wraps this up. So yeah, guys, those are the bags. Uh, please let me know in the comments what you guys think. I really wanted to get these in like a sand color, but they don't make them anymore. So I was pretty disappointed about that, but let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for the video. So in this video, what we did was we installed the Pelican 1430 cases with the Elite Touring Innovations mounting system. It's a mouthful. Um, but I'm excited to put this thing to the test. I'll let you guys know what I think. Um, maybe after I go camping or a long trip and I'm riding with these things. Uh, I think, honestly, I think they're going to hold up. I mean, these things look pretty tough. Uh, please let me know what you guys think in the comments. And please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.